today we've got Winds Petrol EGR Extreme Cleaner. Now this cleaner claims to clean intake valves with the worst carbon buildup. Now have we found the best cleaner made in Belgium Europe? Is it true? As you can see we have an oil catch can and we also have a part for the breather system to catch all oil that could cause a potential problem. This car doesn't have an EGR system, so we'll use it for cleaning the intake valves. And it says for professional use only. Guys, I can't wait for you to see what happens. So let's go ahead, jump into this one, and find out did we really find the best cleaner in Belgium, Europe? Now let's start by removing the air filter. So we'll just move this air box. You want to always spray past the mass airflow sensor. Remove the air filter. Shortly, I'm going to show you guys the intake valves. And they're really bad, that's for sure, with a lot of carbon buildup. As you can see, I propped something between the seat and the pedal. This will work for electronic throttle or non-electronic. Now, once you've raised your engine up, 2,000 RPMs. Do not exceed 3,000 RPMs and you are at operating temperatures. So guys, it's time to go ahead and start spraying our cleaner. You want to spray in short bursts because you could cause the check engine light to come on. And this doesn't have a straw but if you have a straw or if it's like this, you want to insert as far in the intake as you possibly can. I'm only demonstrating the spray pattern. Well, can we see any smoke yet on this GDI or direct injection engine? Not quite yet. Next step, you want to allow your idle to slowly drop back to your typical idle. Then, after doing this, you want to cut your engine off, allow it to heat soak for two hours. Once you've allowed the heat soak and you've put the air filter and air filter box back together properly, then take it on the highway drive for 10 minutes. That's correct. Highway speeds for at least 10 minutes after the two hour heat soak. Now let's go ahead, 
go inside the engine, see how these intake valves look. Well, you think they're going to clean up this bad carbon buildup? Find out. Here we are at the first observable valve. Let's go ahead and move on to the second valve before using the cleaner. Well, as you can see, this valve definitely reduction from the previous product. So if you want to check that video out, guys, make sure you do. And let's go ahead, move on to the next observable valve. Here we are at the third valve. All right, guys, there's definitely a challenge. Let's go ahead and move on to the final valve. I'm definitely excited to see if this product actually worked. Make sure you guys drop a comment below. Let me know if you think it worked. Make sure you subscribe and comment below. Let me know what you want to see next. Here we are finally after using the cleaner. And as you can see, there's definitely been a lot of carbon reduction. Let's go ahead and move on to the second valve. Here we are at the second observable valve. Definitely a lot of carbon reduction as well. Let's go ahead and move on to the third valve. I'm going to include more information and where you guys can find this if you want to find out more about it. So just check the description below. Here we are at the fourth intake valve. Well, thank you guys for watching. Nate's Interactive Auto.